Welcome to this short video on how to enter a vendor invoice in NetSuite. This video is presented by Business Solution Partners. Today I'll show you how to access the Enter Bill form, how to select or change the closing period for your vendor invoice. I'll give you an overview of the account payable setting for vendor invoices. We'll select currency and payment terms for your transaction. We'll make subsidiary location and department selection. I'll show you how to search and select the expense account you want to use for your invoice. And we'll review your transaction before posting it. Before I show you how to process a vendor invoice in NetSuite, I wanted to show you the dashboard for the AP Analyst role I'm using for this transaction. This dashboard shows you some reminders on the top left some KPIs right below. Towards the middle, you have transactions and report shortcuts used by this role on a regular basis. The AP aging is also included, as well as other transactions and shortcuts available to the role in account payable. This is one of the services that Business Solution Partners can help you with. They can design dashboards for you and your team, which might, which might help you work more efficiently. To process the vendor invoice, you can access the shortcuts for entering bills in your transaction shortcuts in your dashboard if you have created one. Another way to access the bill form is by going into Vendors, Purchases, Enter Bills. And this will take you to the bill processing screen. I also want to show you how to access the same screen by searching the vendor that you're processing the invoice for. If we go back to home, and in the global search field, I look up my vendor. You view the vendor. And then right next to action to the left of it, you can select the drop down for creating new form and go down to bill, click on it. And this is going to take you to the form where you can start creating your invoice or entering your invoice rather. The date is defaulting to today's date, and this drives the posting period. If you change the date to the date of the invoice following your company's procedures, when you change the date, the posting period also changes. Depending on the preferences set up for your account, you might be able to change the posting period to something else, any other period that's open. Always remember to follow the procedures in place for your company. The reference number is usually the invoice number, one, two, three in my case. The account payable is the balance sheet account the liability is going to be posted to on the balance sheet. And this account is defaulting to account payable based on the way it was set up at the vendor level when the vendor was created. You enter the amount of your invoice. And the currency that's defaulting to this vendor right now is the USD. But if multiple, multiple currencies are allowed to this vendor, you will be able to see them in the drop down. The terms for this vendor are 2%, but you're actually able to change them if you have more vendors uh, payments set up within your account. If you select the payment hold, this invoice is not going to be available for payment until you come back here and remove the hold. This is sometimes used when a vendor payment is being disputed. The due date is driven by the term selected. You can change the memo to anything else you like to use and to show in the description of the transaction that you're processing for this particular transaction. Approval status for this vendor is defaulting to approved because the access level for this user does not require further approval of this transaction. If you want the approval to the approval to be pending, you can change it to pending approval. The subsidiary for this vendor is defaulting to years one. If you have extended the vendor to multiple subsidiaries, you'll be able to select them from the drop-down. 
The location in this case is required, so I must select the location before I'm able to save this transaction. You may also add departments and class, depending on how your, uh, your account is set up and how your department, your team wants you to book transactions. Now we're going to select the expense account that we want to post this invoice to. You select the account under account and if you know the account number you can type it here. Otherwise you can click on the drop down, select list, and then search for the account that you want to use. I will find the range of accounts where my account is it's right now set up and I'm looking for freight expense. I'm going to use the memo you can add a department at this point to class and location as well as mark this transaction as billable if it's billable to a customer. If you have more lines for this invoice such as sales taxes or any other fees, you can select add and a new line for the account will come up in which you can enter it. At this point, we can save this invoice for processing. If there is anything else that you want to review or add, you may do so. Billing shows you the billing address for the vendor. You can review it and see if it agrees to your invoice. On the relationship, you can add a contact person for this vendor. You can add information about any communication that you want to initiate via NetSuite. You can see who, is, who are authorized approvers. If no further changes are necessary, you can select Save. And the system is warning me that the transaction that I use is not within the current accounting period. So. Because I'm okay with this warning, I'm going to go ahead and say okay. But carefully read all warnings that you get from NetSuite before processing transactions. I'm just waiting for the system to complete the saving process. And at this point, this transaction has been posted and it's pending payment. Because I didn't select payment hold, the next time the payment process runs, we'll be able to process an SEH or check for this vendor. We hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions about any of the features described in the video, or need training or support with NetSuite managers or transactions, please contact Business Solution Partners at the email or phone number on the screen. Business Solution Partners is a NetSuite partner and a management and consulting firm specializing in cloud-based system implementations. Their staff members and management team include CPAs and certified solution developers with over 25 years of experience in accounting and system implementation. Visit us at bsbny.com or follow us on Twitter and other social media.